Hey everyone, welcome back to PolSci 935, Computational Social Science. This week, we're going to talk about how to leverage big data in the context of observational studies. Specifically, uh, I have three videos for you uh, this week. Uh, in, the first week uh, in the first video, we're going to talk briefly about uh, what, what is big data and what are the kind of um, characteristics of big data as we generally understand it and use it in research. Um, and secondly, uh, there will be a video on uh, research strategies using uh, these big data sources. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, causal inference and specifically the potential outcomes framework um, uh, to, to give us a more um, a, a clear framework of how we think about causal inference in the context of observational studies. Um, and before we start, uh, just here a quick overview of your to-do list for this week. Uh, so again, this is the uh, list of tasks uh, to complete before our next Q&A session on Wednesday, September 23rd. Uh, this list is also on Canvas. Um, first, of course, uh, the required reading um, is uh, chapter two in Bit by Bit, um, Observing Behavior. Uh, then, uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, read Penny 2016, Chilling Effects, Online Surveillance and Wikipedia Use. And we're going to talk about that article in a little bit more detail uh, in, um, as part of the Q&A. Uh, then, of course, um, finish uh, Assignment 1 posted on Canvas, uh, Canvas and our Studio Cloud. Uh, we've talked about this uh, assignment uh, a bunch already, um, but um, uh, you have to uh, submit your, uh, your final answers uh, by the end of the 23rd. Um, and then I would also like to continue our conversation about your research projects that we started last week. Uh, so um, until our next session, uh, please uh, kind of think about the research projects that you decided in our uh, brainstorming session and decide which of those projects you want to pursue. You can still, you know, change your mind throughout the semester if, you know, something comes up or turns out to be not feasible. Uh, but I think it's going to be helpful if you kind of focus on one of the as uh, one of the um, research questions that you identified earlier and think more about these four questions that we talked about uh, and specifically as i mentioned in the last q a session uh, also try to identify potential for example natural experiments that may help answer your research your specific research questions and um, just to um, uh, um, uh, repeat the questions that i mentioned last week where uh, first, well, what is the specific puzzle uh, in the literature uh, that you're trying to answer and why is it important? Um, and then uh, third, uh, what type of data do you want to use? And then uh, most importantly, fourth, how do you want to analyze these data and uh, what is ultimately the identification strategy, right? So what is the underlying causal mechanism that you're trying to explore and how uh, will you ultimately um, identify this causal effect? Uh, and the discussions of uh, chapter two in, in, in the bit by bit book, as well as our discussions um, in the Q&A session, I think will be, will be help, helpful in that regard. All right, that's it for the overview. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about uh, big data.